WMER2 News is your voice for veterans, and tonight we're taking a look at a campaign to save their lives. Veterans sacrifice their lives for our freedoms, but many face a real struggle when they come home. September is Suicide Prevention Month, and according to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, veterans are at a higher risk for suicide than the general population. WMER2 News' Ashley McDowell shows us how one campaign encourages our veterans to seek support. When's the last time you asked for help? It's a question the Department of Veterans Affairs is posing in their campaign to end veteran suicide called Don't Wait, Reach Out. Veterans are the first ones to step up and help other veterans and those in their family and their friends. But when it comes to their own struggles, they're very hesitant to reach out for help. Veterans are committing suicide at an alarming rate. According to the National Veterans Suicide Prevention Annual Report, in 2020, the suicide rate for veterans was 57% higher than non-veteran adults. These feelings, these experiences, you can feel really alone, like you're the only one going through this. Dr. Matthew Miller is the executive director for VA Suicide Prevention and is a veteran himself. He says the PSAs in the campaign are messages delivered by veterans to help other veterans, showing they're not alone. A lot of times people will say, you know, I had no idea they were going through that. That's when he says everyone can be part of the solution by just checking in on a veteran. Anything that represents something that is different for that person, and you're stepping back and saying, hmm, that's a good time to open the conversation, ask them how they're doing, open the door for talking. The campaign encourages any veteran finding difficulty in dealing with mental and physical health, finances, housing, or relationships to visit the VA's website to access resources that are available, addressing struggles before reaching that crisis point. We have a link to it on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR2 News.